Hey, what's up guys, Tomasa here, and today I have a brand new video, I wanted to talk about basic strats that you can run on the map Forge Blitz when you're playing Escalation. Now, if you guys aren't sure what Escalation is, a quick breakdown of it is it is a three hill based game mode, it's first to seven, and to win a round, you have to score 210 points, or you can hold all three hills at the same time to earn an instant domination regardless of points. Now, there are two halves to each Escalation map, you have the first half, which are rounds one through six and you have the second half which is rounds seven through 13. now as each round goes by the respawn timers go up and the loser of each round will be able to place a weapon on the map or a potential block at a certain location to help them win the next round or potentially could hurt them if it is a strength for the other team so you really have to know your opponent when you are playing escalation or what their strengths and weaknesses are now moving forward the first half you have hills a b and c you have two home hills and you have the neutral hill located somewhere at the top center of the map or the bottom center of the map now in the second half it will everything will reset like i said from 7 to 13 you'll start back out at the very beginning of the respawn timers with 10 seconds and no weapons placed on the map and the neutral hill and the home hills will all flip from a b c to d e f now if the neutral hill was located at the top middle part of the map for the first half for the second half it will locate to the bottom center half of the map so it's really simple like i said it's basically playing two games in a match now real quick moving into forge blitz and actual strats that you can run on the map for this map it's really important to control the control tower so right off the rip instead of sending heavy 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 to b or to your home hill what you want to do for this map is you want to run one to your home hill you want to push two to fight for b where you can see right now you want to place two kind of fight back kind of see wait out your opponent see how they play and you also want to push two to a control tower now the reason that there's a heavy emphasis on controlling the control tower is as you guys can see right now you have complete line of sight over the entirety of the map now you can see the incinerator you can see the home hills you can watch over b you have complete control over the entire map by just controlling the control tower that is why it is very 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 important to win that battle up top now if you're losing that battle obviously you can switch around and you can rotate and run to the home hill and have a two cap because of how close those home hills are it's very very easy to control a two cap then make a rotation back to the b hill once you get numbers on your side and you get opponents down now also a very 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 big part of controlling the control tower is when the second portion of the game starts now like i said the second half where the E hill is now located at the incinerator, you want to be able to control that control tower because there is a button that lets you activate that incinerator where it's basically like a temporary block when you are running this map. So it's a pretty simple strat, like I said. Obviously, you can make adjustments when you're playing. If they're running, you know, three to B or they're running four up top, you want to be able to compensate for that and you want to be able to match those numbers. If you're undermanned, you're not going to be able to win those fights. Not everybody has to go for those hero plays. Sometimes it's better to back off, play smart, play for your life, and actually win the round and regroup with your team. Now, moving forward to the second half. Now, like I said, the home hills and the neutral hill will all rotate and flip on. On the map so now you can see that the d hill is now located at the power room the f hill is located at the security office and the e hill is located at the incinerator like i said basically the whole purpose and the whole focus of this map is to control the control tower now the reason why like i said with the push button being in the control tower you can block off that e if you're losing that fight and you can potentially stop them from triple capping you very very easily so when the hills rotate you want to do pretty much the same sort of strat except this time you want to flip a little bit more you want to run two over to the e hill the incinerator and like you can see you want to kind of play back. Like I said, you want to feel out your opponent, see how aggressive they play, see if they have anybody cutting through mid where B used to be located, see how they're actually playing before you go in and go head down first right into the hill. And you still want to push two to control tower. And then you want to be able to have one hold that home hill for you. And then also once they cap that home hill, they'll be able to move up to the control tower. If you're kind of at a stalemate, or, like I said, if you're undermanned and say they run 3-2 control tower, they skip their home hill, they run right to the control tower, and it's 3v2, you can call your person that is normally running the home hill to come back you up at control tower, or you can wrap back, 
give up control of the control tower and giving your team a chance to get the numbers back and actually have to go into a fair fight. So there it is, a very quick strat, really basic. Like I said, very, very simple. The basis of this game mode on this map is to control the control tower. If you can control that, you can control the pace of the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there's any other ideas or strats that you run on this map with your team or if there's any other maps that you would like me to break down and give you a basic strat for each map. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.